we are going to build a viral content creation app in under 10 minutes. You're gonna get all of the prompts and everything you need to create this app that turns any YouTube video into viral content talking points that you can use to craft content across all of your channels an app just for you and you're going to build it in under 10 minutes let's get into today's show all right in this episode i want to show again the value of gemini 3 by creating a viral content creation app right youtube is a treasure trove of content it's all wrapped up in this incredible video content but it's a great channel to take those videos and then repurpose them into talking points that you can use to craft content across all of your medium, social media, newsletter, YouTube. You just need to know how to do it. So let's actually get into it. Now, the hard part of this is really the prompts that I'm going to show you here, but I'm going to give you a little bit of like guidance on how to create your own, or you can just take ours. All right. So the Building of these things is getting quicker and quicker, but you still need domain expertise to make it really good, right? So although I'm telling you, you can create this content creation app in under 10 minutes, the hard part is knowing how to turn YouTube videos into these kind of content mini points that you can turn into craft of content. Like how do you teach the AI to do that? Well, you do it by just understanding content. And I'm gonna show you three of the categories of content that we're going to use to create these viral talking points. So the first one is an educational talking point. What it basically will do is we'll look in YouTube videos and it will say, okay, is there something that was shared in that video that is a lesson, a framework, or a how-to step? Then it breaks it into a hook, right? It must open with a curiosity gap, contrast, or surprise in fact. It has a core insight, uh, could up to three bullets. Each bullet must contain a concrete support and detail. We want to make this really actionable. Application, you can apply this by and give it a clear step. Now, I do have audience role. You can not add that, right? But you could also add that, which would be your ideal customer profile. So it maps to that. And then you can talk about why that's of value to your audience. And then I kind of just talk about the structure here of how the app should output that. So that's one of the prompts. And then we are going to use one of my favorites, which is a spicy take. You can see it's going to look in videos for these things here, provocative, divisive opinion must imply a challenge. Most experts get this wrong, gives a structure. And then we're going to use another one here, which is really a data nugget, which I really like. One jaw drop in statistic and takeaway. Numbers come first. And then we have the fields that we want to output to. So we're going to use those three talking points. So for you, you can basically use any you want. Now to show you how this works, right? We first of all start with a prompt. So basically I tell it that you are a content analyst and Again, this is going to show off the fact that Gemini 3 is deeply integrated with YouTube, right? So we're going to first of all do this through a prompt, and then we're going to actually create the app. So here, you're a content analyst. Your task is to do this, right? Watch and read the transcript and identify all the snippets that qualify as one of these three talking points, the educational, the spicy take, or the data nugget. Now here, you can put in your ICP. This is your audience role. Or I just have a default, a professional look, a looking to learn and apply insights from this content, right? But you really should build your ideal customer profile whenever you want to create content for something. And if you don't know how to do that, we've covered that multiple times on previous episodes. If you want me to cover it again, you can put it into the comments. Because this is actually a prompt and not the app, what I'm going to give it is actually the channel name and the video because it's integrated with YouTube so it can go find it. Then it says like map to these categories that I just showed you, right? The educational, the kind of spiciness. I do have a lot of details because I want to have a good structure. But for the most part, it's the same things that qualify. It directly contradicts mainstream advice, takes a clear stance, includes support and evidence that makes that position defensible, blah, blah, blah. Data nugget, one jaw drop in statistic with a clear takeaway, right? Numbers come first, qualifies it, contains a specific quantified statistic. So you can see here the number is surprising or dramatically illustrates the point, so on and so forth. And then we give it the actual marketing against the grain, we give it one of our videos as the channel name and the video name. And then we have this output format. So we tell it exactly what we want to see. So first of all, we're going to look at a summary table. And then we're going to get the actual details here of the different talking points. And so this is what it pulled back for that video. It gives me the category, it gives me the title, it gives me the hook, 
and it tells me who said that, right? And it knows the difference between if that is Kip. I'm the spicy one. Look, I'm spicy. Kip's very educational. This is pretty interesting, actually. So I'm coming out with lots of spicy takes. Kip's educating the audience. You can easily export this to sheets if you wanted to. And then look at this. These are the actual details. And the cool thing is I can export these to sheets to share with my team, right? This is educational. Let's do one educational and then one spicy. So optimizing for information gain over keywords. Stop rewriting the top 10 search results. If your content doesn't add new net new data, the AI ignores it. Recent patent filings suggest algorithms now prioritize information gain, a score based on how much new information the document provides compared to the existing corpus. Pretty cool, right? The echo chamber, most content marketing repeats what is already on page one, LLMs treat that as redundant noise, propriety data, and then you, how you apply that, right? It tells you exactly how you should apply. To be honest with you, this is a pretty good way to just get tactics, even if you're not gonna create the content. This is giving me an idea to create an app that actually builds a library of tactics based upon YouTube video influencers that you like. I'm gonna build that app. Diding, okay, tactics. Okay, this is a great app. This is how many ideas I get per day. I'm gonna build that app and I'm gonna have that on a show very soon. That is a great app. And then we will get into spicy takes. The end of the click economy. Traffic is a vanity metric in an AI world. Great title. Conventional advice obsesses over click-through rate and sessions, but the model is evaporated. And in 2026, you don't want the click, you want the credit. If AI gives the user the answer and attribute it to you, you've won. The visit is irrelevant. How good is this? Proof, look at the proof. The value, me, and then it tells you the emotion. That is really good, right? I cannot describe, you could have a content creator go through YouTube these points will be better than the content creator. But we're not gonna stop there because that's a good enough way to do it. I can just rerun that prompt and tell it to go do that for any channel video I want. That's a pretty good workflow. You're gonna get a ton of ideas consistently, but I can, if I want, just build an app. So here's, I've gone to Google Build and all I've done actually is tell Google Build to take that prompt and turn it into an app. That's it, I did no more. Take the prompt, turn it into an app. Now the one gotcha here is you have to do it via transcript versus the channel name and video because it's doing it through an app. So it's not the same as running Gemini 3 in the Gemini 3 app. Look, if you wanna build killer content apps without writing code, we dropped our AI builder kit. It's got 10 prompts plus a plug and play web app template. You can build killer apps for any business in minutes. Get it right now, scan the QR code or click the link in the description. Now, let's get back to the show. Now, if I was building a real app, I can just have a call that actually scrapes the YouTube video for me, but you can't do it through an internal app that you build in Google Build. So you still have to use your transcript. But we go, we get our little transcript. This is one of my favorites. If you haven't watched this, do watch it. It's with Logan Kilpatrick, the PM for Google AI Studio. It really is like one of the best videos that we've done and one of my favorites. I've got tons of ideas from talking to Logan. So we'll just get the transcript. We go here, and this is a tool that you and your team can share, right? Having these internal tools that help you and your team do their job is a great use of AI. That's why I'm using it more and more. Then we extract talking points. So this was one of the better videos because it has so much great content in here. The last one we did, it was a great video, but it found six talking points. Now it's found 16 talking points. Now, it gives me the summary table. It clearly labels them. Look, this is the other really important part because the cool thing here is you can actually go and snip the video. And if you're creating content on social, you can go create that snippet and have the video snippet to go along with the text. That works really well. That's how I use it. And then look at this, look how cool this is. So I can go to spicy takes and I can say, okay, here's all the spicy takes for this video. It shows me again the source. So exactly where we said this, AI kills the marketing design language barrier. This was a really good one. Actually, we talked about marketers stop writing briefs, AI just eliminated the communication gap with your design team. The language barrier that used to exist between marketing design and engineering teams is completely gone with AI prototyping tools. Basically, the point here was marketers used to have to describe what was in their head to designers, and now they can actually just show it via prototyping tools. It has proof here, marketers can now use Gemini 3 to build fully functional landing pages, prototypes with specific designs. The value revolutionized team collaboration by using AI to visually, so there you go. Templated web designs is dead. This was a really good point. I need to do that one. AI prompt was really is obsolete. Oh my God, this is a good one. I'm sorry, but like if you're watching this, I could charge for this. This is so good. So we have an internal app that we can use, that my team can use to actually give you incredible talking points. 
And there you go. We did it all under, uh, yeah, pretty much uh, nearly 10 minutes. That's the kind of value you get on this show. Now, I'm going to come back with the best dashboard you've ever seen. And so if you really want to turn data into action and incredible visualizations, you want to subscribe. I'm going to come back to how you create an internal library of tactics from any influencers that you really like. Subscribe. I'm going to show you how to do that. All of that and more on marketing against the green. If you love this content, if you find it actionable and useful, make sure you subscribe and tell your friends. And until next time, I'll see you in the next show. This data is wrong every freaking time. Have you heard of HubSpot? HubSpot is a CRM platform where everything is fully integrated. Whoa, I can see the client's whole history, calls, support tickets, emails, and here's a task from three days ago I totally missed. HubSpot, grow better.